feels like just yesterday that we were gathered to affirm Crossbell's independence. The speed with which you liberated your city is nothing short of astonishing. The many hardships the Crossbellers have endured have molded them into a most hardy people indeed. We are hardly worthy of such praise. I truly regret that we've been unable to bring this crisis to a conclusion faster, Mr. President. But it is good to have this line of communication open to us again. Now, I believe it would be wise to discuss how to address that new weapon of mass destruction that... As it happens, we have already begun preparing for this one. We have readied enough troops to dwarf even our great numbers from the war. I... I see. Surely you are aware of the extremely delicate position Crossbell finds itself in at present. If Erebonia, or even Calvary, were to try and intervene with force, well... I am indeed aware. But how else is a head of state to respond when his territory is threatened? The tower shall next rain judgment on the Calvert Republic's Baratier Air Base. Its divine lightning will spare not one thing as it turns its frame to dust. You have until five o'clock this evening to reconsider your stance. I do hope you make the right decision. Our military's general headquarters will be the next target if we do not act. We have no choice. I'm quite surprised as how much Erebonia is dragging its heels in light of the losses it has recently suffered. I deeply regret the position your country has been placed in after a problem that erupted within our borders. But could you not give us a little more time to resolve this on our own? I assure you that we are not sitting idly by while your nation is threatened. And I believe you. I have it on good authority that many capable hands have gathered in Crossbell. But I would like to make our stance crystal clear. Refusing our gracious offer of support means you have also forfeited support from the Imperial Army and given what is at stake. The deadline draws dangerously close. We will take action as we see fit. President Gramhart, sir. Yes, I fully understand that. All is well. The Republican army stands ready to aid you, should you require. I hope you will make the correct choice, sooner rather than later, Mr. Speaker.
won't let that happen. Maybe whoever this is really thinks they're on some noble pursuit to bring eternal peace. But if you have to hold the entire continent hostage to maintain it, then how the hell is that true peace? How is that going to unite us? It's not going to unite anyone. We've worked too hard for this. I won't let this vice grip they think they have stop us from crossing the finish line. Well said. That's our Yuna. <laughs> you took the words right out of my mouth. We stood up when knocked down a hundred times. This is just a hundred and one. Because no matter how high the barrier, it'll never be enough to stop us. Right. And all of us from Thor's will be right there to help you get over it. No, it's not just for you. I want things to go back to normal for myself just as much. I want to see a brighter tomorrow. And I want to see it together with the people I care about. Green. Yeah, we're right there with you. Liberal's here to support you all we can, too. Crossbell and Erebonia are neighbors, yes. But it's more that we've overcome enough as a team that we would never back out now. Yeah, teamwork's made the dream work enough times before. So why wouldn't we help? We, of course, are also here for you. Damn, do you guys love these cute speeches. I'd bust one out, too, if I had one to give. Yet for all we have on our side, there are still limits to what we can do. The real key to our success is her. True. As long as Elysium plays such a large role, its former administrator is going to make or break this. She's the best, perhaps the only hope we have of seeing tomorrow. Your name is Lapis, right? I hate to put this kind of pressure on you, but we're absolutely going to need you in this upcoming operation. Will you help us? No. What? I said I'm not helping you. You did not just say no. Read the room, Lapis. That's how our girl is. She doesn't let anyone push her into doing what she doesn't want to. It's not like we're bossing her around over something trivial. She can't go, screw you guys, I'm out of here when the stakes are this damn high. Are you saying no because you only want to help your friends? No. I'd say the same thing to them. I'm not helping anyone. Because I'm the one who needs help. Elysium is at the center of everything that's plaguing the continent. That means... As its former administrator, I have a duty to set things right. I wish to make this very clear. This isn't your problem that I'm saving. This is my problem that you're saving. So please, I need you to help me. Way to turn it around, LP. <laughs> she is technically correct. Does that technically matter? Yes, it's a very important distinction.
and that something lies with me. Think of it as my personal apology to you for Operation Birdcage. We will be recalling our troops from Michelin as well. Why don't you enjoy yourselves there one last time? I'd like to thank you for the consideration. Though not half as much as I'd like to deck you in the face. if there's something you want to say. Your name is Lloyd Bannings, right? Hmm. I think it was you after all. Who was what? Did he do something? I performed one last prediction of the future, just before control of Elysium was stolen from me, and that briefly showed me someone who I think was you. Wait. Is something going to happen to him? Please, don't worry. I didn't see a vision of him dying or anything. What I saw was very fragmented. So I can't be sure exactly what it meant. But I feel as though it was telling me that you are the only one capable of unraveling the truth behind all of this. Me? Yes. You are the only one who fulfills all of the conditions. But all I saw was this possible future's conclusion. I didn't see what steps would lead up to making it happen. Hmm. Huh. Sure wish we had a few more details to go on. But that's a hard story to ignore, given Elysium's ability to predict the future. Okay. 
I'll keep what you said in mind. Thanks for telling me, Lapis. I'm sure we'll need all the help you can give once this whole thing kicks off, too. I thought I told you that this is my problem that you're saving? You're helping me! <laughs> so you did. activated again. Oh, so now the fourth floor activated. Cross spell with certain party members. Those not in your party will remain in town, so you're welcome to seek it for the chat. Unlike which town, all party members can be used on some dungeons. Once the party menu to a highway dungeon, your active party members. Okay. Alright, everybody. I'm gonna stop here, and I will see you all soon. Bye bye.